everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to another edition of Subscription Box Sunday. Today, I have six different boxes to share with you guys. We have the Brown Paper Packages box, the Vela box, the Goddess Provisions box, the Bath Bevy and Bath Bevy Tubless boxes, and the Wild Grain box. Oh, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there. Welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina and on this channel I unbox lots of different subscription boxes and on Sundays I like to unbox a lot of them all in one video so that you can see a bunch at once. So if you like these videos make sure that you give this a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future unboxings and let's dive in. I'm so happy that you're here hanging out with me today. These subscription box Sunday videos tend to be a little bit longer, so grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's hang out. So I'm gonna kick things off with the brown paper packages box. This is probably one of my favorite boxes that I get because it is just always so fun to see. So this is a bi-monthly box, meaning it comes every other month, and it's a basically a lifestyle box. So inside you get six to eight unique items, so things like beauty, lifestyle, fashion, health, snacks, all sorts of fun things. I love a good lifestyle box. Now this is based out of Canada, which is also super fun. So I'm in the United States, so sometimes I get to like learn about some new brands that I haven't learned about before. The box is $59.99 Canadian dollars. With the exchange rate, that's about 45 US dollars a month and then plus shipping. So every other month, there's that. Now this box is sent to me free for view and I do have a coupon code down below where you can get 10% off your first box. Now I believe this is probably the January slash February box, but we'll find out once we get inside. When you open it up, that is what it looks like. It looks like it maybe it's like cocktail related. What is this here? So it says cocktail and cheese picks. Ooh, okay. Perfect for the new year. And then it says, let me entertain you on the sticker. So I'm thinking this might be like party entertainment themed. Ooh, okay. This is the December slash January box. And just so you can see how fun this box looks. That's what it looks like when you open it up. And everything in here is like wrapped individually, which makes it just such a fun surprise box. So on top, you do get the little pamphlet. Um, it tells about who they are. So they're a family run gift shop, proudly showcasing Canadian main owned products. And so they also have the subscription box here, brown paper, paper packages. And this is the December slash January, 2022, 2023 box, the let me entertain you box. And on the inside, it goes over everything inside, which is very exciting. So it says, put your dancing shoes on and be the host with the most with these fabulously entertaining items. If you're curious about the theme for their next box in February, so the February slash March box, it's Stone Cold Crazy, which sounds fun too. All right, the first thing is in this little golden pouch. Oh, and we have some dip stuff. So it's Deb's dip. We have two different ones here. So we have a roasted red pepper dip seasoning mix. And then we also have a bloomin' onion and cheddar gourmet dip seasoning mix. So what do you do? You add this to one cup of sour cream and one cup of mayonnaise, blend well and chill. Ooh, and I will say, I can already smell them and they smell really, really good. And you get those little peek through windows. Um, these retail for $10. I don't know each are together. I'm assuming that each one is $5 making them 10 together. Um, and these are made in Canada. So you get some little dips for your party. All right, next out is wrapped like this. Ooh, we've got some coffee. This is fun. So it's from Spirit Bear Coffee. This is their duo. This retails for $8. So these have Aboriginal roots. So we have the Frog Breakfast Blend or the Orca Dark Roast. Okay, so it's like animal themed. That's really fun. Um, this is ground coffee. Um, very, very cool. So these are made with Aboriginal roots. Spirit Bear produces fair trade certified and uh, organic quality coffee. Um, and these have intense, rich flavors with subtle, pleasant finishes, perfect for uh, after dinner. You can add optional Kahlua, Irish cream, or whiskey for cocktail time, and each package makes 12 cups of coffee. Very, very cool. I personally don't drink coffee, but there are definitely people in my family who do who will be really excited to receive this. I love, I love that we get so many like Canadian products in this. It's very, very fun. Okay, next up is like actually wrapped like a present. It is so fun. Oh my goodness. This is a dip bowl quad. So there's four 
dip bowls in here, and then you've got little spoons for the dips as well. So it's used for dips or desserts. These super cute waved bowls and spoons will bring flair to your table. It's from a local, local Canadian distributor and this retails for $19. Ooh, this is very, very fun. It's nice too. Um, uh, they're porcelain with a glossy glazed finish. Um, and they are dishwasher safe, which is really, really great. I love that it comes with a little spoon, like serving things too for the dip. So you got the dip and now you have little bowls to serve the dip in. All right, next looks like this. Ooh. The next thing smells like, oh, uh, peppermint, yummy, yummy, yum. So you get these two things here. These are from Happy Hippo. They're the pre and post party pack. Retails for $8 and are made in Canada. So you have the peppermint foot soak. Ooh, okay. This is for after you've danced the night away to kind of refresh and recharge your little feet. And then beforehand, you have this. Oh, it's a shower steamer in bliss. Um, it has a um, blend of sparkling champagne, peonies, and almond cream. Ooh, it has a really sweet, sexy kind of scent to it. And it actually kind of smells like peppermint, I think, because it was in with this. Y'all know I love a good bath-related product. So I love that you get a little pamper set in here. All right, up next, we have this here. All right, we've got a sharp object enclosed here. Oh, and it's a little cheese knife. Oh, it is sharp. Oh yeah, that is that is definitely sharp, so be very careful with this. Um, so this is their gift to us, so it doesn't count towards the value of the box, but you get a um, mini spreader and knife. Very good, great for like a cheese board or other things like that. I'm gonna put it back here so that I don't accidentally cut myself with it. Another little thing here, it's like a never ending little like quest to find things. Ooh, we got some makeup from Stray Cat. Um, and this is their cream highlight in soiree, which retails for $16. So this is what the highlighter looks like. It says, shine like the stars you are with a Stray Cat's latest cream highlight. You can put it on your cheekbones, shoulders, collarbones, or any place you would like a subtle glow. Canadian made and cruelty free, and Stray Cat donates to animal charities. Very, very fun. Not a big person. I don't use a ton of like cream blushes, but this one's really, or highlighters even. This one's really, really pretty. All right, another little box. Ooh, this is super duper cute. This is a necklace, and this is the wine glass necklace. It retails for $35. So you can add sparkle to your outfit with this delicate micro pave crystal necklace, stainless steel with 18 karat gold, electro plate, um, sourced from St. Paul, Quebec, Canada. Ooh, it's really pretty. Now, I don't drink wine, so for me, this is not a necklace for me, but I do know that a lot of people in my life are like this, and I also like that it's like dainty. It's not super obvious. A really pretty gold chain necklace. So pretty. And then last but not least, we have two gold chargers. Now they're put in the box, so there's a little creasing in them, but that'll easily come out of those. Um, so these retail for $12 and it says, showcase your culinary masterpiece with a set of two accents. It can be used as chargers for an intimate dinner for two and easily wipe clean with soap and water. And they're from a local Canadian distributor. So really, really pretty. You can put your little dip bowls out on this if you want to. And that is everything in the brown paper packages box for December slash January. I thought it's such a good box. You get so many things in the box. I think it's a great price for what you get. It's all wrapped super fun. Fun, and I love being able to discover Canadian brands that I might not like have access to as easily in the United States. So I thought this was great. I thought it was a really, really fun theme. Um, and if you do want to sign up for it again, I do have that code where you can get 10% off your first box. All right, up next, let's dive into the Vela box for January of 2023. If you're unfamiliar with Vela box, this is a monthly candle subscription where each month you get a candle that is hand poured by an American um, candle maker, which is always super, super great. Now this box is sent to me free for review and I do receive their Vivari subscription, which is normally $38 a month and comes with a 16 ounce candle. All of the boxes do also come with an extra gift. They also have their Ignis subscription, which is $28 for an eight ounce candle, or their Lucerna subscription, which is $18 for a four ounce candle. I do have a really awesome coupon code down below where you can get 
50% off your first box. So in case you're signing up, that is a great, great code to use. Now you do get to curate your box sent based on a profile that you complete when you sign up, but you can go in and edit that as you want as well. Because this was sent to me free for review, I got to pick my scent. You do not get to pick your scent if you're a subscriber, but if you like really like florals and you like stronger scents, you know, you can put in, or you can say you don't like florals in your profile and based on your profile, they will pick a candle for you. I always like to read what's on the box because I feel like it gives a good like description of the brand. So it's artisan made luxury scents with an elevated design, eco-friendly packaging and natural ingredients. Oh, when you open it up, that is what it looks like. The little card on top says a year of adventure awaits you. Listen and burn for the ultimate vibe. So they do have a little Spotify snowed in playlist that you can play. So each month you have a little Spotify playlist as well. And then you have the candle. So each month it does come in a little drawstring cloth bag that you can obviously reuse. I am obsessed with kind of like the plaid pattern of this. This might be my favorite design ever. I just, I really love it. And it's obviously kind of perfect for like snowed in January with that kind of like flannel type of look. The material's canvas, not flannel, but really cute. Ooh, and this is what the candle looks like. Each month it looks a little bit different. So this one has a black lid and I got the crushed salt and mist scent here. So each month there is a like featured candle maker. This one, this month is True Hue from Minneapolis, Minnesota. So they're inspired by clean, functional design and a soul for adventure. They seek to produce the best line of home fragrance that will transport you to the forest, the lake, or under the stars. With the planet in mind, True Hue candles are poured with clean wax and fine fragrance oils that are phthalate and vegan, phthalate free and vegan. Um, so I got the crushed salt and mist scent, which is the fresh scent category. The scent notes of this are crushed salt, mist, lily of the valley, fresh green leaves, and a touch of pine. So the description is created out of adoration for nature's fresh, crisp, and clean smells. This refreshing scent is meant to burn in times of ultimate relaxation. It's a new year, so take time to reset and revitalize. Okay, okay. Let's smell it. Standard wax and wick. Ooh. That's super clean and fresh, but also like earthy, but in a sweet way, not in like a too earthy way, if that makes sense. Oh, I really like that. You, I think the touch of pine and the leaves gives it that little bit of greenery, but the lily of the valley, the, oh, that I really, really, really like this scent. It's a very clean, some, there's something in there that's reminding me of something. It's not, not the full scent as a memory, but there's a memory in there somewhere. It's taking me to Vermont at my grandparents' house, but I don't know what scent in here is doing that. I could be wrong, but there's something in this that's like triggering a memory right now. Oh, I love that. I love the simplicity of the candle design as well. But again, if you don't like fresh scents, then based on your profile, you would have gotten one of the other candles, but man, am I excited about burning this candle. I really, really love it. Uh, then you always get a little gift and the gift this month is this one here. So these are the Cheers Drink Charms set of four, which retail for $10. So inside you get four little Cheers Drink Charms. So they're just like these little things that I guess you can stick at, oh, on the top of your glass. I don't have a glass in front of me, but like, let's say this was the room of your glass. You put it like that. That way you can tell the drinks apart. Let me just knock stuff over. So you get a silver, a like, like copper color, a gold color, and a blue color. And something on here, oh, these have covers on them. Okay, so they are like plastic, but they do have covers on them. So if it looks a little bit muted, it's because they have the colors. I don't want to take it off yet since I'm not going to use these right now. But they do, if you peel it off, it still does say cheers. So if it looks a little dull or weird, it'll look better once you peel that sticker off. But a little set of four drink things. These are great. I don't drink alcohol or things like that, but these are also good if like you have different people will drink, drinking out of different water glasses or things like that. Just, you know, you don't have to drink alcohol to be able to use these. So super duper handy over the holidays. I was with my parents and they were using, putting rubber bands around the different color rubber bands around the bottom of their wine glasses to tell them apart. Um, so these would have come in, whoops, let me drop it. These would have come very much in handy, but um, very cool free gift. So that is the Avella box for January. And again, I have a really good coupon code where you can get 50% off of your box in case you're interested. All right, up next, let's jump into the Bath Bevy and the Bath Bevy Tubless boxes for January. If you aren't familiar with Bath Bevy, 
Barbie. This is a monthly bath subscription. So in the regular subscription, you get things like bath bombs, bubble bars, soaps, all the fun bath stuff that you can get. Um, this box is $43.21 a month plus shipping. Then there's also the Bath Bevy Tubless box. So if you don't have a bath, don't like taking baths, can't take baths, this box is for you. This will have fun shower, bathroom related products that are not bathtub specific. So things like shower steamers, shower gels, candles, things like that. This one is also $43.21 a month plus free shipping. Um, this box is, these both of these boxes are also sent to me free for review. Y'all know I love a good bath box. Let's kick things off with the regular box. Every month they do have a theme and this one it is Let It Snow. And let me just say, oh, the box smells so good on the initial like open. You can like smell the waft of beautiful scents. So the card does say let it snow. And then on the back, it does go over everything inside of the box. And there are six different products inside. Ooh, the very first thing that's out is one of her bath bombs. This is the Mimosa bath bomb. She does package her bath bombs in these little boxes with little squiggles to keep everything safe in transit. And this is what the bath bomb looks like. Um, so this is scented in a lively and upbeat combination of champagne and fresh squeezed orange juice. Oh, you definitely get the orange and you get the champagne and it smells really good. This is a very, this is a very fragrant bath bomb. Like I can smell it really, really well through the plastic and it's a pretty orange and white color. I love a good fruity scent of bath bomb. So I'm very excited to use this. Ooh, up next we have this here. This is a whipped soap scrub um, and this is the lavender pajamas version so this has scents of lavender white musk vanilla sugar and warm woods the whip soap scrubs are my favorite products of hers they are my absolute favorite i love them so much um so i'm always excited to get another one and this one's in the lavender scent and everything is sealed Ooh, that is like a sexy sweet lavender there's like because of those other white musk vanilla sugar warm woods it adds like some like dimension to the lavender Oh, I'm obsessed with that scent. That is so good. Oh, I cannot wait to use this one. Ooh, then we have some bubble bath, and this is the Marshmallows by the Fire bubble bath. This has warm toasted marshmallows, smoldering woods, and the rich vanilla cream blend together seamlessly for this warm, cozy scent. Ooh, let's give it a little sniff. Again, this is sealed. Ooh. Oh, it does smell like marshmallows by the fire. Mmm. That smells so, so good. So it says add one to two ounces to your bath as it fills. There are nine ounces in here. I feel like this lasts me like three to four baths, but I like to put a lot of stuff in my bath. So really, really love this. Ooh, then we have one of her body lotions and this is the hot cocoa body lotion. Um, so this is warm and chocolatey and rich. This hot cocoa scent is still steaming in the mug to warm up and any winter day. Okay, we're gonna have to take a peek. She does have these cute little pumps there. You can remove this to be able to get some of the lotion out. Oops, and some just already came out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, my pump might be broken because stuff keeps coming out of it. So let me just, oh my goodness. Okay, it won't stop. So I'm gonna just wipe it and shove this thing back in and hope that it, that stops it. Okay. Well, now I have lots of lotion on my hands, but it's okay. My hands need lotion. Ooh, it is chocolatey. Okay, there's definitely more here than what my hand can take. So I'm sure once you get the pressure down, it wouldn't do that. That's the first time that's ever happened. And I've definitely gotten lots of these lotions before. Ooh, that smells really, really yummy and chocolatey. So a really awesome hot cocoa, which has milk chocolate and whipped cream scent to it. Mm, now I smell delicious. Then we have a, another bath bomb and this is the Hot Toddy Bath Bomb. It just says, Sense of warm bourbon, tart lemon, and sweet honey with a touch of cinnamon. Ooh, okay. I don't, don't, never really knew what a hot toddy was because I don't think alcohol. Wait, yeah, because it has bourbon, right? Yeah. And this, oh, this is a, such a fun color. Ooh, that smells. Ooh, that's good. I still think I like, this is still my favorite scent, the lavender pajamas, but this is a good close second. Mmm, that smells so good. Oh, yum. I wish there was smell a vision for this type of video. <laughs> and then last but not least, we do have a whipped soap. Um, you could have gotten this in different scents. So I got mine in pomegranate champagne, but you could have also gotten white peach prosecco, frosted winter berry, or hot chocolate bar. Just wanna give this a little sniff. So this is just a, a whipped soap. It doesn't have any scrub or anything in it. 
Ooh, that's, wait. That might be my favorite scent. That's good. I want this in a body wash. I feel like this would be a really good, I mean, you can use whoops soap like a body wash, but like, this is like a top tier scent. This is really, really good. I feel like there's a lot of top tier scents in this box, so I am very excited. Um, and that is everything in the regular bath box. So now let's dive into the tubless. All right, so the tubless box comes in the same box, but it does have a little tubless sticker on it. And the tubless is always the same theme, so it's the let it snow theme. Now I will say you do get different products in this box so if you want to get both you can but sometimes there are overlaps so sometimes you might get two whip soap scrubs and they might end up being like the same scent or something like that so for the most part there's not a lot of overlap but just fyi um on the back it does go over everything inside and there are six products inside all right and the first thing I'm pulling out is a double up, but it's a really good one because it's the Lavender Pajamas Whipped Soap Scrub, which is one of my favorite scents. It smells so good. So I'm very, very excited to have another one. Ooh, then we have shower steamers and it, this counts as one product on the back of this. So it's really more like seven things, I would be honest. So you get some shower steamers. So you get some in peppermint and some in mimosa. You get two of each scent. Um, so what you do with shower steamers, you put them at the base of your shower. You don't want to have um, them in the direct stream of water, but you do want a little bit of water to hit them, turn the water heat up high, shut the door and close the space and it will create this beautiful, relaxing, steamy experience. So you have a, a like zingy peppermint eucalyptus mm, and then you have the mimosa scent there. So um, really fun. For me, her shower steamers, one shower steamer lasts me two showers. So this is what, four showers? So this is eight showers all together. So really, really fun. And then we have the hot cocoa body lotion. So again, another duplicate. Some months there aren't duplicates. Sometimes there are between the two boxes, but two very, very good products. Ooh, then we have a, another whipped soap. So again, technically a duplicate product, but this one's in a different scent. So this is in the white, white peach Prosecco scent, whereas the other one I got was the pomegranate champagne. So let's sniff this one. Ooh, that's peachy and yummy. Ooh, I'm into that one. Very, very good. I love a fruity scent, but it's like a little bit fruity sexy if, is what I would say for that one. The next thing out is a body wash and this is the Marshmallows by the Fire Body Wash. So this is the Warm Toasted Marshmallows, Smoldering Woods, and Rich Vanilla. So in the other box, we got this in a bubble bath and in this box, we get it in a body wash. So I wanna smell it again. I just wanna remember the scent. Again, this is sealed. Mm, it's warm and toasty with like back notes of sexy. You know, like the sexy, woodsy, fiery, yummy scent. Ooh, this is really, really nice. It's so nice, a little body wash. And then last but not least, you do get a Champagne Dreams Candle by Valley Candle. So these are made in small batches with 100% American-made soy wax. Um, so, ooh, it smells so good. Um, so this is bright, bubbly champagne with peaches and strawberries. Ooh. It smells really good. I feel like we've gotten a champagne candle in a box before, but this smells different. Like I don't recognize the scent. So I do think that this is different. It smells really fruity and yummy and nice. So you can light this little candle as you take a shower, something like that. And then you always get a little bath bevy deck of matches to light your candle with. All right, and that was everything in the Bath Bevy tub list. I thought both boxes were great um, this time around. I think my favorite scents were the Lavender Pajamas one, and I think my second favorite goes to the um, Pomegranate Champagne Whip Soap from the other box. So I really, really love these boxes. I love, I love bath boxes, and I love the themes, and this was so fun. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, and I'll leave a link in the description box in case you're interested in signing up. Up next, let's dive into the Goddess Provisions box for January of 2023. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this box, this is a monthly like spiritual self-care crystal type of subscription, which is $33 a month and comes with five to seven products inside. So you get things like crystals, ritual tools, self-care products, altar adornments, sacred space decor, divination tools, jewelry, and spiritual books 
everything inside will be cruelty free and vegan. And they do donate to trees.org for each box sold. And this box is sent to me free for review. They did let me know that this box, if you want this exact box, if you want the January box, you do have to sign up by the 18th. So probably by the, like, that's the last day that you can get the box. So if you're interested in signing up, please sign up by the 18th if you want to get the January box. When you open it up, that is what it looks like. This month's theme is Ritual Enhances My Magic. It's such a fun little card. And then on the inside, it goes over everything that you receive. The very first thing that I am pulling out is the Divine Protection Soy Candle. It's 100% soy wax candle. Um, let's see, what does this smell like? Ooh, Kiwi Jasper lavender jasmine and neroli okay let's smell this Ooh, it smells so good and look at it so there it's a double wick there's two wicks there which will be a little hard to see it's got little lavender buds on it and then there's also a little crystal in there too Ooh, it's a very it's an it's a unique scent it definitely get like the jasmine and the neroli i feel like if i know what is that does it say neroli on it it did i feel like that's what i'm getting but I could be wrong. Um, and a little bit of lavender. I don't know what kiwi, kiwi jasper is, but it smells really, really good. This is made in the USA um, and it's handcrafted by Grateful Living Creations. So this candle helps refresh your energy. It's a nice little thing to put in your routine after a long day, kind of relaxed with this yummy candle. All right, next thing is wrapped in bubble wrap. Ooh, this is super cool. Hopefully the camera, yeah, it'll show what's here. So this is the Divine Serpent Celentine Palm Stone, which retails for $25. Just connect to the moon and your serpent guides with the help of this etched selenite palm stone. It's a great stone to add to your collection to help cleanse your other crystals. Oh, that is so pretty. It feels really nice in the palm. I love the design and it's just super duper, such a pretty little thing. So. Very cool. Ooh, okay, up next we have a little bag here. So it says goddess provisions on one side and it says charm casting on the other. So this is a charm ca casting kit, which retails for $28. So I have no idea what charm casting is at all. Um, it does come with a little card of charm casting set, which tells you all about how to interpret your map. It tells you all about it um, and all about the different charms. Uh, and so you have this here, which is a little like placemat probably to do the charm thing. Um, and then you get a little baggie that's filled with all of the different charms. So this is not even all of them, but like here are some of the charms there. So you get like a butterfly, a little bat, very cute little bat. A dolphin tail, a little lion head, um, a little, I think this might be a mermaid. And there's like so many more. That's not even ever, there's so many more in there. I have an owl, there's like antlers. There's so many fun little charms on here. So it says cast your questions and unveil divine answers with the help of this 25 piece charm casting kit. So there's 25 of these. Um, inside you'll find a unique set of charms, an instruction booklet and a beautiful mat to help you Matt, why did I say it like that? Matt, uh, to help you begin your charm casting journey. Now it does say that as a bonus get charm, a bonus you get a charm casting one on one course, which is a forty five dollar value. Um, and yeah, it talks you through the history of charm casting, how to cleanse and charge your kit, example readings, and more. So there's like a little code that you can sign up and get that. So if you've never done it before and you do want to try it out, that's a fun way. If charm cast, if that doesn't really, if you're not like, like that's not really for me, I don't really like that. All of these have little things on them. Like all of them are actual charms that could be made into jewelry. So you could do necklaces or bracelets. Like even the lion's head has little like holes on the side of it. So if you're not into that, like you could definitely, ooh, perfect from I'm a Scorpio it's a little scorpion so you can make little necklaces and things out of these if charm casting isn't really your your vibe that's a great option as well and then you get this cute little mat that you could use on like an altar or just like hanging up on your wall as decor um, so that's really cool Ooh, then we have another crystal and this is the orange you can unikite um, so this retails for five dollars so it says this stone can help you find moments of inner peace with its grounding and balancing properties keep it with you while you get ready to invite feelings of self-love into your routine Ooh, that's a very good one for january okay up next we have a little vial 
This is a Banishing Aromatherapy Roller. So this protective blend helps to keep unwanted energies at bay with the help of rosemary, eucalyptus, and garden sage oils, and black obsidian roller. Ooh, a black obsidian roller. That sounds cool, ooh. Ooh, it smells really nice, and it does have a black, like, stone roller. Very cool. So you can see, like, some of the herbies. I don't know, like, the little things inside as well. So a nice little um, roller essential oil. Ooh, and then up next we have a tea towel. This is the Potion Magic Tea Towel. This retails for $20, and let's open this up. This is what the little tea towel looks at. Super duper cute, uh, nothing on the back, so it's only one-sided, um, but it's, and it's 100% cotton, but if you, you could also use this as like a wall, like a tapestry type of situation too, or even as like a place setting type of situation if you didn't want to use it as a tea towel. So a nice little tea towel there. All right, and that is everything in the Goddess Provisions box for January. I thought it was super duper fun. You always get super interesting stuff in this box. Um, and again, I will leave a link down below in case you're interested in signing up. All right, and last but not least, let's jump into the Wild Grain box for January. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Wild Grain, this is one of my favorite subscription boxes because this is a monthly bread and baked goods subscription carb lover here so this is very exciting um so this is a monthly like bread baked goods subscription like i said and it is 89 dollars per box um you can choose if you want to get the um pasta box or the baked goods box but in each box you get three loaves of bread. If you get the pasta box, you get two things of pasta and you get um, an extra like monthly baked good item, whatever it is for the month. Then I signed up and I believe it still might be the case where you get a free thing of croissants for the lifetime of your subscription. So I get that as well. Um, I do pay for this box with my own money and I love this box very much. I do have a coupon code down below though where you can get 10% off your box in case you're interested. Now this is the first box where I've edited my subscription so it, it will default the items for the month in your box but you can go in and edit and swap things out and I finally did that and this is gonna be so much fun. So um, I got my, the first thing I got I get every month because they're free for the subscription. These are the croissants. These are the reason I cannot cancel the subscription because these are so good and in fact I think for February I might swap in another set for something else that was in the box because I just I love these so so much everything in this box comes frozen and then you bake it and everything bakes in less than 30 minutes so this you bake at 380 degrees for 18 to 22 minutes and let cool for five minutes this stuff it's like legitimately like it came from a bakery like it is so good it's better than anything that you can get like in grocery stores and things like that so I love it so I did the pasta like version of the subscription this month and normally it comes with fettuccine and tonnarelli. I don't personally love the tonnarelli, but the fettuccine is good. So I did get the fettuccine this month. So this is what it looks like. This cooks in four to five minutes. It's really great pasta, super duper yummy. But instead of the tonnarelli, I decided to get um, tortellini. Um, I've eaten the tortellini. This box got delivered yesterday. Was it yesterday or the day before? And I've already eaten them. So I'll try to insert, if I remember, I'll insert a picture of what they look like, but it's just like tortellini and they cooked in six to eight minutes. Um, so if I remember to insert a picture, I'll insert a picture, but I mean, they just look like tortellini. All right, then you normally get three loaves of bread, but for me, three loaves of bread a month, I'm realizing is too much because like I would end up giving it to my sister or my parents and that's totally fine. Now this month I got two different loaves. One of the loaves that I got was the slow fermented cranberry pecan bread. How good does that sound? And every month they have some different flavors. Like there's some things that you see frequently, like the pastas, but then like this might not be a flavor option every month. Um, so this you bake for 18 to 22 minutes. And then you do need it with the bread, you let them rest for like 20 minutes to finish the baking process. But it turns out so, so good. Then the other loaf that I got this month is this one here. This is the spelt sourdough loaf. I've never tried either of these ones before. So I'm really, really excited to try it out. Now, instead of a third loaf of bread, I went and got some brioche rolls instead. So this is what these look like. These ones bake 
in six to eight minutes. So I just wanted to try something different. I thought these could be used maybe as like hamburger buns or just as rolls, whatever. But I wanted to switch it up and try something besides a loaf of bread and just try something new. And then the like baked good of the month this month is their giant chocolate chunk cookies. I have gotten these before. And oh my goodness, are these incredible. These are like the best chocolate chip cookies you're ever gonna try. Uh, these were good. These bake for 16 to 20 minutes and then you let them rest for five minutes. And oh, they were so good. They were so, so good. So I'm so excited to have more. So that is everything that I got in my wild grains box. It is expensive. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, but you're getting really, really good quality items. And this, like I said, this is better than the loaves of bread that you're gonna get you know, in the grocery store. Um, for me, it's great because I live by myself so I can keep this stuff frozen until I take it out. I have definitely been guilty of going to the store, buying a loaf of bread and not being able to get to it just because life happens and, and all that kind of stuff and then it goes bad. So this, you just wait until you actually are gonna eat it to bake it or like the day of or day before, you know what I mean? So it's much, much better. Uh, these things also are great to gift. Like if you're gonna like, you could bake some cookies and give them to someone or you could bake a loaf of bread and give it to someone. It makes life super easy. So it's been great for me and my lifestyle. All of their breads are naturally fermented so they're much easier to digest um, and just really good quality bread and baked goods. So again, if you're interested in signing up, I do have that 10% off code down in the description box below. So that was everything in Wild Greens and that was everything in subscription box Sunday. Uh, definitely please let me know your thoughts down in the comments below of all of the boxes. All right, favorite box, favorite product. Favorite box is gonna be the brown paper packages box because that one is just always so much fun to unbox. But I'm gonna have to say that my favorite product is the lavender pajamas sugar scrub from Bath Bevy. Hands down, the thing I'm most excited about is that. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What was your favorite box to see? What was your favorite product or favorite products in the video? I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you in my next video.